Hi guys, I'm Jerusha and you're watching Jerusha to a TV. You knew I was coming back with the Chanel-esque choker that I picked up in my last haul. Thank you if you watched that video. Yes, I am choker obsessed. Some of you like, some of you don't. This one is so heavy that it has to kind of sit lower on the neck rather than, I mean, you can have it up high, but it's, it's more comfortable a little bit lower and very Chanel-esque. This is a new label, which is I think what I'll have the title as. A new label for me in my collection from the one and only Fashion File. So let's get into it. I'm excited to add a new uh, fashion house to my collection. We've been speaking lately, I guess, how I, be, I stay safe. And a lot of you have the coolest uh, sort of response and opinions on that, which I think is really good. Like, to stay safe is good. Um, not necessarily boring. Staying classic is really good. But every now and then it's, it's good to sort of change up and try something new, is what I'm doing nice and slowly. So here is all my proof of purchase um, and my thank you and my complete... Um, authenticity for life from Fashion Pile. So I'm so excited to add to my collection something from Balenciaga. Let's go ahead here and pull it out of the box. There is the cool box and it always comes in a, a little plastic protection that's nice go up close a nice white balenciaga box and we'll take the lid off always comes in a fashion file dust bag even if your listing comes with a dust bag which this did and here is its balenciaga dust bag just the white cotton dust bag with Balenciaga there on the front of it But here we go. Here is the item the bag I chose was the iconic Balenciaga City bag Let me get the exact name the Balenciaga Agua is that the letter Agua giant 21 rose gold hardware city in black here are our fashion file tags. So once removed, you own the bag. There is the detail tag and the uh, removable tag all on a tassel there. So here it is up nice and close. Ooh, I'm just checking over the back while you guys check the front. Wow, <laughs> these are fab. I've had a lot of people tell me that the leather on uh, Balenciaga's remind them a lot of my accessory line. So all my Jerusha bags and stuff is really soft um, cow hide leather. Um, and it's a lot of it's pebbled or sort of aged. So they've always said that, but having this in my hands now, no, it's not as soft as this. This is really soft and smushy and just really beautiful. Wow, oh, I love the rose gold hardware. So when I saw this on the site, I'll tell you the story. I wanted kind of another kind of uh, daily sort of, I don't want to say throw around bag because nothing luxury, I guess, should really be throw around. And let's face it, none of us throw around our bags. I'm pretty much guessing. Some people might say they do, but trust me, girl, they're like, I'm going to place you here. And they probably just check there's no crap on the table. But just another bag similar to like a Neverfull or that's going to be large enough to carry sort of everything I need on a daily basis with Mussy. So when the idea of this came up, I was just like, yeah, you know, Balenciaga do it well. City bags are sort of forever. I had told you in my didn't buy luxury tag video that I had always loved the mini city but my god it's so small on my frame so there is its sort of iconic mirror that can just go in the front pocket or hang or you can detach it 
So there is its front pocket there, which is really good access for your phone. Here's my iPhone 7 Plus, and it fits perfectly there in the front pocket. That's good to know. I didn't smell it. I'm not smelling any pre-loved. Well, I mean, listen, with Fashion File, <laughs> with Fashion File, you never have to worry about that. I'm pretty sure they like odorize or condition their bags to like a neutral smell. And if it does have sort of like smell stain, like cigarettes, they will mention that in the description. I think this came up as um, very good. Did it? Yeah, very good, I think. Um, and I mean, that's I've said this before, I get asked a bit like in their conditions when they write excellent or very good or just good, what do I think? Totally, you have to, have to, have to check their pictures. And if it lists and states damage, so a seam's ripped or something, it will say that and it will show it on a picture. But honestly, I've said it before, they really underrate their bags. So they say like very good, but I mean, when you get this, you'll be like, was this even used? I mean, there's not even any wear, nothing on the inside. So inside it's, it's just one large compartment with a back zipper pocket. It's black lining. So there, and it's all in the rose gold hardware and I'm having a thing for rose gold at the moment. I know it's kind of like been and passed with a lot of people, but hey, I'm late on the bandwagon, but love it. It is the Balenciaga City, so it does come with the shoulder strap. I don't know if there's different sort of sizes, but that's definitely a shoulder strap. You can't crossbody that, that's too short. And it just has the rose gold clips there, the pushing clips. So I'll go ahead and attach it. So there it is attached. That's pretty unimpressive without anything in it. Let me put a few things in it and then we'll go back and have a look. I guess if I did want to grab you know, a different strap, maybe, you know, a separate strap, like the Fendi straps or something more affordable, like the Motel straps. I could do that for crossbody if I wanted it, because I'm sure this would sit nice crossbody. It's pretty large for crossbody, but at the same time, I guess for a really sort of everyday use bag, it doesn't really matter, I guess. The top zipper closure is here with this leather pull and which is very their style. The tongues at the end can come out or they can tuck in like so to do it. So I'll probably just have them hanging out. I like things just out and relaxed. So we'll pull them out and it is a double zipper. So there is one on this side as well. So there we go. See the top zipper shut there. That's really good as well for security if you're worried about something like that. So let's go ahead and fill it up and we'll show you what we can get inside it. Okay, so I'm just gonna sit it here on my lap, kind of like a what's in my bag <laughs> that are on hold at the moment, uh, like so. And then the contents of my Speedy B25, which is what is on the go at the moment, I will place into this bag. Here again is my iPhone 7 Plus, which I will put in this front pocket for easy access. Um, with the mirror, I'll just leave the mirror in there, that's not a problem. So, out of the smart compartment here, I have my car key. I will put that in the front compartment with my phone as well, so I know that they're all together. That's it, phone and car key, boom, there. Then I have actually in this speedy, I have my never full pouch which holds all my receipts so that if I have to return something, I've said that before, we will pop that in. I don't even need to turn it on a side, it'll just go straight in. Whereas you need to turn it on the side in the speedy 25 because obviously it's a lot larger. I have my six ring agenda from Louis Vuitton. I have my mini pochette in Damier Bim from Louis Vuitton. <laughs> my husband's trying to scare me once again. No, he's not. <laughs> I have my house keys and office keys in um, still in my Damier Azure clay. So I'll actually put them in the back slip compartment. Oh, I, did. I didn't even open this back slip compartment. All the tags are in here. Control tags and tags from Balenciaga. So that's kind of cool. 
um, there we go. So that's obviously the swing tag, and then the the Balenciaga care, Balenciaga care card and the information card and then the little, they always put in a swatch of the leather. I think that's really cute. I always keep all that stuff together inside the envelope that came with the Fashion File bag. I'd never leave it inside the bag just because it gets like really destroyed and damaged. Anyway, my keys, my clay with my keys is in that back slip pocket. <laughs> my Dettol hand wipes obsession can go in that back slip pocket as well. So that's that, we'll zip that up. And then lastly, out of my speedy, if you watched my last video, thank you so much. I am loving this, loving it. I, I'm really glad that I came to this point kind of in my life or luxury life where I went ahead and uh, got a full zippy uh, wallet. And a full zippy wallet is usually accordion like it, they usually all are accordion like this even though the zippy compact wallet is now designed accordion which you guys know how i feel about that anyway it, just to be able to open it and see everything just sitting there you can just get your coins out it's really really actually really handy i love flat layer wallets i really do but this is just I don't know, like I feel like grown up, you know, everything is together. I'm really enjoying it. I'm enjoying Gucci. It's well made. Uh, I, will, I can't wait to review this for you guys. So we'll pop that in. That is everything. Whoa, actually that's quite heavy. But that is everything from my Speedy B. So there we go. It's got a bit of weight to it. Again, though, it is a full leather bag. That is definitely something you always have to keep in mind with full leather bags is the weight. A lot of people prefer them, but again, they're going to be heavier than the Louis Vuitton canvas bags. I mean, they weigh nothing. They're empty, they weigh just like nothing. So here it is, guys, super cute. I love it as like a new everyday kind of bag. It's black, it's carefree, uh, not, that's not a new thing for me. We know I've got a lot of black bags, but it's carefree and it's black and it holds a ton. Obviously there's a lot more space there on top. If I wanted to put a scarf or a shawl or one of Mussie's jackets or something like that, I can fit it as well. I'm going to say it's weighty, but nevertheless, I have other bags that are heavier than this. Obviously the Birkin, the GST is a lot heavier than this, but it holds all that stuff and that's good as well. I am going to stand up and do some mod shots for you of this on my frame. So, yes. So thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video, guys. If you enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up. Giving a thumbs up is really good now on YouTube. It just shows that our channels are in good standing. And I like seeing them because I know that you guys are liking my content. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already and you wish to do so, that would be really cool, guys. I will see you in my next video. Take care. Peace.